draw pillars, posts and a roof structure. In this exercise, you'll gain some experience of using the direct modeling facilities within Vectorworks to create a simple structure that is somewhere between a building and a pergola. The top section of the structure will form a tray that will later host a green roof and could perhaps also filter rainwater for irrigation. Extrude the first pillar and post. If your model isn't already in a 3D view, change to left isometric view. Make walls, brick, the active class. Locate the small rectangle in the top left quadrant of the garden, the one labelled to become a pillar for the green roof. Choose the rectangle tool from the basic palette and on the toolbar choose the first mode. Note the push-pull mode which displays when you use 2D tools in a 3D view. This mode should be on by default but if it's not, turn it on. Trace over the existing rectangle by clicking on one corner and then on the diagonally opposite corner. Immediately move the cursor onto the face of the rectangle. It will highlight in red. Click on the face and move the cursor up to push-pull the rectangle into an extrude. Press the tab key and in the data bar type 525 and then press enter on your keyboard. Then click to complete the extrude. Make wood the active class using either the view menu, the classes button on the view menu or the navigation palette. On the toolbar change the mode to center to corner mode. Move the cursor onto the top of the pillar and watch for the surface plane to be acquired. Draw another rectangle in the centre with centre to corner mode, slightly smaller than the original. After the second click, on the object info palette refine the size. Set the width to 150mm and the height to 150mm. Immediately click on the surface of the rectangle and press tab in the data bar. Type 2475, press enter and then click to complete this second extrude. Mirror the pillar and post. Click the selection tool and hold down the shift key. Select both the brick base and the post. Choose the mirror tool and mirror the pillar through the centre of the path. Using the selection tool, select both sets of pillars and posts. And then use the mirror tool again to mirror through the centre of the path on the opposite axis. You'll now have four pillars around the centre of the paving. The textures set up in the walls, brick and wood classes have been applied because the extrudes have been created in this class. Remember that you will need render works to be able to see textures. Extrude the roof. Click the rectangle tool on the basic palette. On the toolbar, click corner to corner mode. Hover the cursor over the top surface of the wooden posts on the leftmost post in the 3D view. Notice the automatic plane detection spring into action again, colouring the top surface blue. Click on the outermost corner of the rectangle and then draw a rectangle that stretches across all four posts to form the base of the roof structure. Click on the surface of the new rectangle and pull the rectangle up. Press tab and type 300 into the blue data bar and press enter on your keyboard and then click to complete the extrude. Shape the planting structure. Click the 3D modeling tool set. Click the deform tool. On the toolbar, click 
Taper Solid Mode and then select Symmetric Mode. Click on the roof structure and then click on the centre of the top surface. Click on one of the edges and start to move the top surface outward. Notice it tapering. Move the cursor down to the edge of the brick column base to snap to it. Click to complete the taper action. Now we'll hollow out the structure so that our green roof planting can sit inside it. On the 3D modelling toolset, click the Shell Solid tool. On the toolbar, click Shell Solid Tool Preferences and change the following. Shell Inside Thickness 40mm Click OK. Click on the top surface of the roof structure. It will highlight in red. Click the green tick tool on the toolbar or press enter to complete the shell solid operation. Notice that the shape has been hollowed out to a thickness of 40 millimeters. With the rooftop selected, click on the Object Info Palette's Render tab. Scroll down until you find the Rotation field and type 90. Press Enter. The wood texture will rotate 90 degrees. Click the Shape tab. Change the view to Top Plan. Create the 2D Plan view. The structure is complete in a 3D view, but in Top Plan it doesn't display any fills, unlike the other objects on this design layer, which are both 2D and 3D. Now you'll learn how a 2D plan view of a 3D model can be generated automatically. On the navigation palette, make Fixtures Main the active class. Click the selection tool, click and drag around the structure to select all of its elements. Choose Landmark, Architectural, Create Auto Hybrid. Notice that Vectorworks has created a 2D plan view of the structure. Currently only the pillars of the structure are visible on the plan. Notice on the Object Info palette that the cut plane is set at a height of 1000mm, which is cutting straight through the pillars. On the Object Info palette, change Cut Plane to 3300 the overall height of the structure. Click 2D Appearance and change the following. Click the Below Cut Plane tab and check Dashed Hidden Line. The 2D display is updated to show the structure as it looks at the new cut plane height. Notice also that the cut plane displays in the colours of the original object in this case derived from their classes. And you can also see the posts and pillars as a dashed line.